my name is Donette Douglas. I am the station manager here at WTJR Channel 16 in Quincy, Illinois. We are working together till Jesus returns, and that's something to be excited about. We are celebrating, we just completed 34 years, getting ready to start that 35th year right here at WTJR. And it's exciting to know that we are putting forth good news 24 hours, seven days a week. And we have four channels here, 16.1, which is national local programming. We have 16.2, which is CTN lifestyle family programming. We have 16.3, which on our web stream, on our website is CTNI um, Spanish Christian programming uh, during the day hours, Monday through Friday here. It ha also has CTNI. But during the evening and early morning hours and the weekend, we have the um, Christian video channel where you can watch uh, Christian music videos, you can watch movies, you can watch children programming and some of the uh, WTGR classics. And then we have 16.4, which is CTN HD, high definition out of Clearwater, Florida. So there is a great variety of programming. Now, I know that many of you have been unable to see or watch uh, WTJR for a few days, and we will go into that more in detail just a little bit here later in the program. Jim Wilson, our engineer, is going to give us an update from the tower site. So let's get started with that um, a uh, slideshow that we have each week to show you what's going on here at the studio. This is a picture here in the studio during Pray 16. Uh, we have the candles lit, the fireplace glowing, and there it is with no lights on. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, I tell you, I could just sit up there and spend time with the Lord, and it's just so peaceful, and put a little worship music on and just spend time with God. It just really blesses me and others that have done that before here in the studio. This is uh, from Pray 16 last Friday. Uh, Gary Wallace is the host of the program. He pastors River of Life Church here in Quincy. And our guest was Pastor Robert Axton. And he pastors the United Pentecostal Church in Palmyra, Missouri. We always enjoy having Robert here. Great prayer warrior. And there's another shot there in the studio. We taped some uh, Freedom from Addiction programs with Pastors Jerry and Julie Jenkins. They are with Addiction Free here in Christ, located right here in Quincy, Illinois. And then we also taped Simple Truth programs with Bible teacher John Furness. He's from Fowler, Illinois. I know a lot of you watch that program and are blessed by it. He's been great teaching. And uh, he's been teaching from First and Second Timothy and the book of Titus. And now he's went on uh, to uh, be talking about Count the Cost. You want to be sure and watch that program coming up real soon on The Simple Truth. In fact, The Simple Truth airs on Monday evening. I did not bring my guide in here with me. Monday evenings, I believe it is 7.30, and on Sunday afternoons at 2.30 right here on WTJR. Well, as I said, we have some pictures. We have an update from Jim Wilson, our engineer, of what is going on out to the tower site, Jim. Okay, Donette, uh, we had some problems out at the tower that are still unresolved. We're operating on our low power transmitter. This is the one that we use during the DTV transition. And the full power transmitter is down. Now, two problems have showed up so far out there. One was after the main transmitter tripped off, we went to uh, patch in the low power transmitter in the interim. And we found this burn up in the patch panel is what you're looking at here. This, this is how it's supposed to look. And that's how that was there. So that was one, and this is the other end of the patch panel where it connects. The energy travels, there's the part that was burned up. The energy travels through the patch panel on the center conductor and that what you, the space you see around it there is the insulator full of nitrogen to keep water out of there. Anyways, this is where we patch the low power transmitter on, and that's where the problem was. So I had to resolve that problem. I've taken that all apart, not in this picture, and right now the low power transmitter is patched right into our antenna. 
But this is the item that we have the problem with. It's an outdoor <coughs> beam supply. It's a high voltage power supply. It generates 35,000 volts and 480 volts in. It's also DC. This is what powers our main broadcast tube. So we've been troubleshooting this. There it is there. That's an external picture of it. It's 5,000 pounds. And uh, we tried a different capacitor in there, and that didn't work. And here's the oil. When you pop the lid, you can look down into the unit. It's, it's uh, insulated with oil and cooled. As you can see, this is supposed to be clear to the bottom. So there's a burn up. As they say, the smoke was let out of a part in there. And so the oil is <coughs> contaminated, and there was a burn up. Now we're draining the oil out. Uh, we got some barrels there draining it out. This is out at the tower site. Here's how it looks without the oil. And here's the part that's bad. Took it over to Harris, which is now Gates Air. And let's put it this way, you could replace that part for the price of a uh, new pickup truck. So we were not thinking we wanted to put that kind of money into that old unit because the old unit may have other problems. This is just the main problem. This is called the rectifier stack went out. So we've gotten, and here's showing you in the middle is some of the burnt parts. If you see right on the left middle there, you see those caps uh, burnt open. So that was uh, the main failure, but uh, replacing it requires to get another power supply out at the tower site. Fortunately, because of the repack, there are people that have these power supplies and they're, they're never going to use them again. So we were able to locate some, uh, and we thank them for giving it to us. And we'll talk more about that later. And so we have to go get those and uh, swap them in. Of course, these are large items. This is heavy, high voltage and heavy wiring, and we have to bring them in from Peoria. So there's going to be a time delay before we're back to full power, but we're working on it. We're working here till Jesus returns. And Donette, we're going to be coming back to you on camera three. Thank you, Jim, for that update, and we're so thankful for God's provision. We're so thankful for Jim Wilson, our engineer, and the time he's putting in to troubleshoot, and uh, we know God's going to help us get this fixed. So we thank you for your patience. We ask for your prayers, and if anyone would feel led uh, to make a financial donation, because as Jim said, it's a very expensive, those parts are, uh, we know that um, we would be blessed here at WTJR uh, to be able to meet those needs, and so we just say a big thank you out there to our WTJR family and all the viewers for your support during this time. Amen. Now, I would want to tell you, you can go on our web stream, on our website, WTJR.org, and still watch the programs, okay? If you're unable to reach it over the air uh, uh, or on your cable. So, um, just, um, like I said, just keep praying for us. Amen? Amen. Okay, I want to give a little bit of an update here. You know, a few weeks ago on our hometown happenings, I mentioned Grace Hendray, and uh, she was going to have a fundraiser for the Salvation Army. she came come up on this on her own. She wanted to re help. So uh, she had a lemonade stand. And so I want to read a little bit about this. Grace's lemonade stand um, on Saturday, August 31st, uh, she had this stand along with her little sister, June, and her parents, and they held the fundraiser for the Quincy Salvation Army. The stand featured a variety of baked goods, coffee, and lemonade, along with Grace's favorite donuts. And when asked about the event, Grace's mom, um, Kalia, uh, stated, We had the most special morning. We knew our community was wonderful, but oh my, the generosity from strangers still makes me tear up as I talk about it. We are very proud of Grace and her giving heart. For Kalia and her husband, Adam, they wanted to make sure they nurtured their daughter's giving spirit and showed her she can do anything, especially when it comes to fundraising to give back for others. And as you can see there on the uh, screen, the picture, and uh, that donation, she raised $1,097 through her lemonade stand. And... Uh, uh, 
the comment was, little girls can do big things, and the Quincy community is beyond generous. So we're, thank we're thankful that Kalia and Adam are raising their children with such gracious hearts, stated Area Commander Major Andrew Miller. Her donation will make a major impact on the lives of many. Her $1,097 donation will provide over 400 meals for area families in need. And this was a press release from the Salvation Army. And I just wanted to let you know uh, that we can make a difference. Whether we're little girls or we're the older saints in the Lord, we can make a difference. Amen. Okay, let's move on to uh, Monday prayer here in the studio. At uh, 1 p.m., you're always welcome to join us. We are located on the second floor at 222 North 6th Street. We do have an elevator available. And also, many of you joined us on the 40 days of prayer and fasting leading up to the 40th CTN anniversary, which I'm going to talk a little bit more about the actual anniversary coming up in October. It's, we started uh, the 40-day uh, prayer and fasting, started September 6th, and it goes through October the 16th. So continue to, to um, with us as we are getting ready to celebrate our 40th anniversary. If you need prayer, you can call 217-228-1616 or email pray16 at wtjr.org. If you call and get the answering machine, please leave your name, number, and that you would like prayer. and We'll get back with you. Pray 16 is our live call-in prayer show, and I, I pray if you watch, you'll be telling your neighbors and other people about the program. Uh, they can call in on Fridays, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. We are live. We will pray for the request over TV. And, of course, we want you to call back with your praise reports. We always want to be sure to come back with a heart of thanksgiving, a heart of gratitude, and thank the Lord. Amen. We repeat the program on Mondays at 9 p.m., and even though it's a repeat, we do have a phone operator, so you can call in those prayer reports, those praise requests, okay? Our, I got that tongue-tied, didn't I? It's our praise reports and our prayer request. There you go. <laughs> Pray 16 also is live on our Facebook page, WTJR, uh, Quincy, Illinois. If you happen to watch it, would you please share or push that watch party button and share with your friends. Amen. Continuing prayer every evening at 8 to 8.01 p.m. Central Time for one minute. I have my alarm set on my phone, and uh, at that time, I take that one minute to pray. What comes to my mind, if I'm praying for the President of the United States, uh, praying for children, praying for our own community here in Quincy, but pray one minute, okay? And coming up, also really close here, Mexico 2019. This is the 20th year of the shoebox ministry. And with your shoebox, be sure if you mark it, if it's for a boy or girl and the age. Uh, they have need to be dropped off here by the WTGR studio by Monday, November the 18th. And again, we do have an elevator here. We're on the second floor. Some of the items, and if you'd like a list, we do have lists here at WTJR. You can pick up some of the suggested items are uh, toothbrushes and toothpaste, bars of soap, washcloths, combs, hairbrushes, sunglasses, pencils, small cars, balls, socks, no crayons, no scissors, no candy or food, and please no expensive items. Revive America is coming up again. I'll tell you, the months pass quickly. It will be live on Tuesday, October the 1st. If you want to join us here in the studio, please be here at, by 645. Worship will be at 7 p.m. Uh, Jeff and April Davis, and that will be live on Facebook. And then at 730, we have the message with evangelist Robert Newton. Again, that can be watched live on Facebook and WTJR 16.1. The Revive America Music, because it's on Facebook and you can't watch it over the TV, we do air it on Monday evenings at 8.30 p.m. and Wednesday evening at 6, or not Wednesday evening, but Wednesday morning while you're getting ready for work at 6 a.m. Coming up also, we have the First Thursday Prayer at 6.30 p.m. on Thursday, October the 3rd. And you can see the table there. We sit around and have prayer together. And uh, we are located on the second floor, 222 North 6th Street. The elevator's available. We'd love to have you come and pray with us. 
40th anniversary coming up real soon and we're having a big anniversary celebration at CTN in Florida and that's October 17th and 18th. There'll be live programming from 5 p.m. Central Time to 9 p.m. Central Time. Then they will repeat that program throughout the night, okay? On uh, the 17th on uh, Thursday evening, Rodney Howard Brown will be the speaker and music will be by Laverne and Edith Tripp and Taranda Green. And on Friday evening, October 18th, the speaker will be Jonathan Shuttlesworth with music by Phil Drisco. Again, you can watch it live from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. right here on WTJR. And I will be there at the event, so you'll probably see me on the screen. Amen. Postage stamps. Um, we're still collecting those to purchase books. Uh, for missionaries to teach in whatever country they are stationed in. You can drop them here by the studio. You can put them in your envelope with your donation check. We say thank you for helping us with this outreach. Also, the Tuba Force for Hope, recycling plastic cap and lids. And they use those to make a bench, like you see in that picture, for the homeless veterans' tiny home village. I will tell you, they have filled five or six big uh, wooden crates, I mean huge uh, containers, and they are now uh, going to start sorting them. They feel they have enough to uh, make a bench. And so they are, uh, I think this uh, Saturday, uh, this coming this weekend that this is airing, uh, they are meeting. They're having the Boy Scouts and youth groups and different ones come and sort them. But if you have caps and lids, you can drop them off by Beers Tax Service, 1627 State, or Tuba Force for Hope, 5700 South 24th Street. For more information, you can call 217-617-8500 or go on the website www.tubaforforhope.org. Coming up this next week on A Woman's Joy is our dear friend and sister in Christ, Sherry McDaniel. Sherry is the leader of the Sisters Fellowship Group at the First Baptist Church um, in uh, Canton, Missouri. And Sherry's been coming for several years now. And she comes once a month. We take two programs. We've been discussing the biblical meaning of love. We've centered in on 1 Corinthians 13, the love chapter. And we've been talking about the first characteristic, which love is patient. So be sure and tune in next Tuesday at 9.30 a.m. or Friday at 9 p.m. Coming up on Outreach Connection this next week with our host, Timothy Southers, is Bob Hass. Bob is with the Right to Life of Adams County. He's here to talk about the Respect Life dinner coming up. <coughs> And uh, they also the life chain that they'll be having and other events throughout the year. You can watch that on Monday, September 30th at 11 a.m., Wednesday, October 2nd at 9 p.m., and Saturday, October 5th at 5 p.m. Coming up on Pastor Speaks this next week is Pastor Jerry Spratt. Jerry uh, is pastor at Augusta Assembly of God Church in Augusta, Illinois, along with his wife, Patsy. And the message he brought is, You Are Special. And this will air on Sunday, September 29th at 2 p.m., Tuesday, October 1st at 1.30 p.m., and Wednesday, October 2nd at 7.30 p.m. Coming up on our family movie night uh, will be CTN Legacy. Now, we have aired this before, but because of the 40th anniversary coming up, we wanted to re-air it so some of you could maybe have not seen it, would know some of the history of how God's hand has been on the ministry or the TV network of Christian television there in uh, Clearwater, Florida. And uh, this will air on Saturday, October 5th, at 8 p.m. and Sunday, October the 6th at 11.30 p.m. And we do have a promo of that right now. We'd like to show you CTN Legacy.
I want to encourage you to watch that because you will be so blessed and you will have no doubt that Christian Television Network was, is God's network and how God put it all together, provided so many needs. It, it's just wonderful testimony of God's love and power and provision and hand upon a ministry. Yes, you'll be blessed by it. That will air Saturday, October 5th at 8 p.m. and Sunday, October 6th at 11.30 p.m. Amen. Okay, let's go to our hometown happenings. Yes, I love the bridge. Yes, yes. Um, today, I want to talk about a couple of activities or events, I should say, that are going to take place over at the Franklin Square Community Room. And uh, first is going to be FLO for ladies only. It's a prayer breakfast on Saturday, October the 5th. Uh, from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. They'll have a speaker give testimony um, and have prayer together along with their breakfast. And then also they're starting Bible study there at the Franklin Square Apartments Community Room, 318 Maiden Lane here in Quincy. And uh, join them every Thursday evening from 6.30 to 8.30. They will have Bible study there in the community room. And that will be starting on October the 3rd, every Thursday then. So uh, you can contact, uh, I did not put this up there, but if we, you want more information, just call the station and you see our number there. Uh, and we'll give it to you. But if you have an event you'd like us to help get the word out about, uh, just contact us here at any of the information on the screen, uh, by mail, by phone, by email. And uh, we will help you get the word out on our Facebook page, uh, on a community calendar, and on the hometown happenings right here on Behind the Scenes. Amen. Okay, our bridge today, we have a new video spot for the CTN 40th anniversary celebration. Like I said, I'll be going to Florida. The managers will be there and be part of this. We have meetings while we're down there also. And it's an exciting time to celebrate 40 years. So let's see this video now. What's be coming up for you that you can be a part of it too. It's a special celebration. Plan now to tune in October 17th and 18th for a live CTN anniversary event celebrating 40 years of the faithfulness of God. Starting nightly at 6 p.m., CTN hosts and special guests will come together to give thanks for all that God has done and will continue to do through the ministry of CTN. Don't miss this powerful two-night anniversary event right here on the Christian Television Network. Amen. So you're invited. We pray you'll tune in. Amen. Well, I want to continue on. We're praising God because CTN does bring hope into people's homes and into their lives. And that's because of the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Of course, WTJR is an affiliate of CTN, Christian Television Network. Our scripture today is from John 16, 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. I have overcome the world. And these uh, words are in red letters. If you have a red letter Bible, uh, in the world, you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer of overcome the world. I have overcome the world is what Jesus said. This is a beautiful hardback uh, book that you can uh, get for a donation of $15. The information's on the screen. And a devotion written by Jack Countryman I want to share with you today. If you were to read the news headlines, you might infer that no one is in control of worldwide events. It seems like that today, doesn't it? Yet those who love the Lord know otherwise. Today's verse speaks of God's sovereign power over evil. After acknowledging his disciple, his disciples would experience great tribulation. Jesus told them not to fear because he had overcome the world. Jesus knew the disciples were about to face life without him and would endure persecution for his name's sake. In fact, all of them, excluding John, would eventually live their lives furthering the gospel message. 
Likewise, Christians today still face pain and suffering due to persecution or disease or broken relationships. Yet God graciously using suffering to compel you to lean unto him, to grow and refine your faith, to receive his comfort, and to keep your eyes on heaven. Right there is a key. Keep your eyes looking up on him. Amen. Yes, you will experience heartache, disappointment, unfairness, and outright evil in the world. But do not despair because Jesus has overcome this world. When going through tribulation, you can take comfort in the promise of a new heaven and a new earth where there shall be no more pain. You can read that in Revelation 21, 1 through 4. It said several times in there, and Jesus said, I have overcome the world. How did he overcome the world? Well, first of all, God so loved the world, he gave. And he gave the best he had. He gave his only begotten son. There had to be a sacrifice that was without spot or blemish. And Jesus was that lamb without spot or blemish. He had no sin. We have sin. And so he went to the cross. He shed his blood that our sins would be washed away. But he didn't remain in that grave. He overcame the world. As he was on the cross, he took on the sin of the world. And God could not look upon him. Remember, it got dark. The, there was like a thunder and lightning. Yes. But what? He overcame. He arose on the third day. He arose. He defeated death. He overcame the world. Today, you can be an overcomer. And we're going to talk more about this next week on the program. But you are an overcomer when you give your life to the Lord, when you trust the Lord. He will lead you in the ways that you will overcome whatever this world has brought into your life today. He will help you. He has made a way for you to be an overcomer. God bless. Bible prophecy sensationalists who are constantly crying wolf? Are you one of those who thinks Bible prophecy is pie in the sky with no practical relevance to Christian living here and now? Do you sometimes feel overwhelmed by world events? Do you ever wonder why the whole world seems to be focused on the Middle East? If so, I'd like to invite you to tune in to Christ in Prophecy. We will show you how Bible prophecy relates to our day and time and why it is relevant to Christian living here and now. 